So, a follow-up video. Um, I went to go and uh, try to pick up one of the wild mice, either Bean or Bubbles. And, uh, like, at first, uh, cause, like, for a little bit now, they made, like, a bunch of us, like, everywhere. And, uh, well, I went to go lift up the log where, uh, Bubbles is normally at. Cause Bean goes back and forth between the spot she dug out and to where Bubbles is at. She, like, goes back and forth. Um, so, uh, uh, they didn't run for me. Like, when I looked at it, they were just, like, laying in a nest, and they didn't run for me, and they're both kind of, like, on top of it. And they even allowed me to pet them. Like, I touched them, and I was like, oh, wow, okay. And I just kind of, like, sat there in confusion and kind of brought my fingers out to them. And Bubbles went to lift up to sniff me, and that's when I noticed pinkies, like, so I did the math from when I captured her and like how long a pregnancy is and everything. She was like maybe like a week pregnant when I captured her tops. Like that's the absolute tops uh, when she got pregnant. And so like I, she basically spent her entire pregnancy in captivity. And, uh, like, and see, I didn't even notice. I should have, because now I think back on it, her, like, when she would climb upside down onto the enclosure, uh, I noticed, like, her nips, like, where the hair was taken off. And I'm like, but she wasn't, like, fat or anything. Like, she didn't show, like, any signs of actually being pregnant other than her nips. So, I thought that was a little odd. Um, but other than that, like, I didn't, like did not notice at all I mean I didn't she didn't really like really give me a chance to really look at her because for at like near the end of it she stopped coming up to me and now that I know why uh but I just find it what I find to be really odd is that the fact that she's a wild mouse and I I, I didn't interact as much mainly for the fact that they're wild mice they're not used to human interaction so I'm not gonna like bombard it and overload them with a bunch of interaction they're not used to. So I've been like every once in a while before I go to bed, I'll, you know, when they're active at night, I'll try to get them like treats and everything. And like, I thought maybe they outwitted me. Like they might have still outwitted me, but because they stopped coming up to me. And then I would leave treats regardless just because I'm wanting to let them know that they can trust me. And so, yeah. I just find it weird that I wasn't attacked because they're like extremely like protective and territorial and everything. And I just like opened it up and was like touching them and I've never touched them before. So it's not the, it's the first time I've ever like touched them and they didn't even jump or nothing. Yes, brain. Yes. So I, I find that to be pretty mind blowing. Uh, I guess it's a good thing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do because, I mean, it's part of the experiment, you know, but I don't know if I'm going to separate the males from the females or what I'm going to do uh, at this point. Um, I mean, I knew at some point there was going to be breeding. Um, I just haven't captured a wild male, so, you know, and it's not like I might capture them, I'm able to expect them immediately. But I know, like, Bean is a female, and she's a little bit older than these guys. You know, she's bigger than they are. Uh, can you stop? He definitely uh, becomes super exploring. I don't know if you're able to see his parts on the video, but they got, they're got they pretty, they're pretty easy Yeah, to tell a male from a female. Pretty easy <laughs> like I don't understand how people can mistake them I mean when they were like really really young you know, like pinkies and stuff they're really hard to tell but they're like once like they can open their eyes basically I can tell I mean I can sometimes tell before they open their eyes but usually about, about the time they're covered in fur and they're like you know uh, it's, I can tell if they're male or female but it's by, you know, this age, it's pretty easy to tell. Um, 
but yeah so there's a surprise there's gonna be baby mice and i cannot wait until they're blind because then they roam around and i'll be able to capture them and hold them and pet them because they're blind and then like they're gonna be used to my scent and everything so they're gonna be like pretty tame with me um I'm probably going to have to remove them all when I get more wild mice. Mm. That sucks. Mm. Maybe not. I don't know. I may not have to. I got a mouse on my hair. I'm like, oh, yeah. Anyways, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. Just kind of like having thoughts, processes of the way I, while I'm doing this video because I'm not really sure how much I'm going to do was not expected. I mean, there was one mouse that I was like, had to have had baby, like had to have been pregnant. And I like, but I never captured her. So I'm just not expected for <laughs> one of the wild mice to be pregnant. But uh, I'm gonna check somewhere in there. Cause like I'm looking over at their enclosure closure because Bean keeps going back and forth and I don't know why she keeps going back and forth. I don't know if she just made her own but Bean was a baby. I mean like a you know like little like she's you know I mean she's gotten bigger so now it's like concerning me but so but yeah babies.